Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another tutorial in Matlux FX. In today's tutorial, I am going to explore one of the artificial intelligence tool and let's see how we can make use of that tool inside our prep pane works. And obviously, I am going to get this work done inside Nuke. So let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so here is the footage which we are going to work. And as you can see, this is kind of a simple shot which I chose for this tutorial. But when I will tell you what's the task in this one, you will think, okay. That's uh, somewhat complicated. Let's discuss what's the task we are going to do in this shot. If I have to remove the entire tree from this shot, suddenly this shot becomes a little complicated because lots of parallax. But the main issue is not that. If you're not an artist or if you are kind of a beginner, you might panic a bit because obviously you have to create what's behind this tree for you know, removing this tree. Of course, right? So that's kind of difficult for me as well because I don't think I'm a good artist who can draw what's behind in this tree, maybe in a given deadline. In this case, I can use one of the artificial intelligence tool and uh, get my work done. So you already understood what's the um, difficulty or complexity of this task. So let's see what's that uh, artificial intelligence tool which I was talking about. So let's jump into that. Okay, so I'm inside labs.openai.com. That is Dali2. I'm not going to explain the whole website, how it works and what all are the properties and what all are the other settings and all these things i would suggest just search this topic in youtube and you will find amazing tutorials or amazing videos like how we can create amazing arts and images using text prompts there are many pdfs as well so i'm just going to show how i can create a random image using text prompt you can type any kind of prompts obviously there are you know do's and don'ts just try to learn how to prompt and you can produce amazing as well as realistic results so just click on generate wow you can see the result here there is a sunny day there is desert and uh, there is mickey mouse you can pretty much type in any prompts and uh, get such results i agree this is some kind of a cartoonic image if you type in your prompt exactly as the tool understands then you can produce um, realistic results so I'm going to show you one other option as well so just go into DALI and here you can see there is a button called upload an image that means you can upload an image from your computer or from your disk and you can edit that image so I'm going to upload an image here cool so here I'm not going to crop my image I'm just going to skip cropping let's click on place here you can see here that we have a generation frame of 1024 by 1024 you can place this anywhere in your image to edit this so once i'm happy with the placement i can just go here there are a few other options as well i'm just going to take eraser and uh, just erase this house from here i'm going to type in a prompt i'm not going to generate an image from scratch but here i'm going to edit this image using prompt here i'm typing like uh, so let's see what the result is wow Look at that. <laughs> we have the result here. So let's see some other variations. That's that's absolutely brilliant, right? You can pretty much use this as a clean plate and do your prep and paint works. That's the beauty of this. Click on accept and uh, you are ready to download this. Okay, so I'm back inside Nuke. So let's render one frame and take that into DALI 2 and uh, let's see what the result looks like. So the sad part is that uh, if you have an AXR plate, uh, I don't think there is a way you can uh, load EXR plate into DALI 2. I have tried that and I failed so I'm not sure if uh, there are any other options to do that. Export this as a PNG. I don't want to render this as a JPEG because obviously by converting EXR into JPEG will create a lot of artifacts in the plate and I don't want that to happen. So I am going to convert this as PNG. I'll just render a single frame. I'm going to render my last frame because as you can see we have more visibility of this tree in the last frame. Let's render. Okay, so I'm inside DALI and I'm going to click on upload an image. Here I can choose my clean plate. Here I'm going to click on skip cropping. I don't want the clean plate to be cropped. So skip cropping. Here we have the clean plate inside DALI. I can click on place here. So that gives us a generation frame of 1024 by 1024. I'm going to drag and keep that where my tree is. And uh, we have some options here. Select pan. Uh, we have eraser. We have add generation frame. We have upload an image. I'm not going to explain both of this. There are many tutorials. Obviously, I'm going to take eraser tool and uh, going to erase. So I have erased my tree from this clean plate or this generation frame. What's next is that type in a prompt which you want to fill in this um, blank area. So I'm going to type. 
I guess this prompt works. So let's click on generate. Awesome. You can see the result here. I can scroll and see some other outputs. This looks good, right? This looks good as well. So let's take this and uh, click on accept. Once I'm happy with the result, you can just click on download. So I'm going to import my clean plate and how it looks like. There we go. I have imported that and let's compare the result. That's awesome. That looks very decent. You can see the details here, though there are some issues which we can obviously touch up because we already created a beautiful environment behind the trees. If I'm happy with this, I can just take Silhouette, open Silhouette interface, click on create project. So I'm inside Silhouette and uh, you can obviously touch up or repaint it. I'm going to save this and uh, connect my source into the plate then again i'm going to click on open silhouette interface come back to source and we have the footage here just drag it here just connect the source pipe into the source one obviously we have only one frame if you go into the paint node if we go and check the source one and input you can see it's not matching because i guess it's the first frame which is getting loaded so what i can do is that go and adjust the time shift as maybe 120 minus 120 let's see how it looks like that's awesome take clone and uh, just go into the settings make it force one if i'm not happy with this see here i have some issues maybe i can make the softness and uh, just touch up this area a bit to reveal back some of the input maybe i can reveal this a bit further But obviously you can see all the lighting just looks real right in just fraction of seconds we are getting beautiful realistic results i'm not sure where we are heading so but really optimistic about this technology <laughs> that's the beauty of artificial intelligence you know we have some cables or wires here even in the result you can see some kind of wire beauty right maintaining continuity I have revealed back some of areas uh, where I could. That's amazing. You can definitely spend more time by revealing uh, not wanted areas and uh, also you can put your own creativity in this. And once you are happy with the clean plate, you can just save and uh, close silhouette back in Nuke and I'm going to delete this right note. As you can see, we have a beautiful clean plate here, which we created in just a few seconds. <laughs> That's awesome, right? Speed of creativity. It's very easy to meet our deadlines. So once I'm done with this, I will definitely go for a camera track and uh, maybe build a geometry and then we'll project this clean plate if i need to create multiple clean plates for projection maybe i can do that as well if you want to see how i will do camera projection with this clean plate comment down in this video i can make a follow-up tutorial for this so i guess you're pretty much happy and excited to try dali and uh, again i hope this tutorial is super useful to every one of you yes please, please hit that like button and comment down your thoughts so until next tutorial it's manu signing off thank you for watching Rainbow.